Hello, hello, friends. Happy New Year, and welcome to The Blushing Mint. Um, I'm Dion, and I just wanted to come to you guys and introduce you to um, my studio and my art, and hopefully have you join me today, um, and hopefully every day, for a little inspiration and um, some chat time. So what is the Blushing Mint? Uh, the Blushing Mint is my paper boutique um, where I create journals and other works of art. Um, and um, I just, I welcome you to shop my Blushing Mint um, website, blushingmint.com. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube as well. Um, so basically, uh, it's a new year. And with the new year comes resolutions and all of those other things. And um, with the launching of um, my Blushing Mint on social media and whatnot, um, I could tell you that I'm going to do videos every day or I'm going to do um, such and such and so and so. But quite frankly, with my anxiety... Um, I, I'm not willing to do that. Um, I'm going to come on and um, live when I possibly can and share some art and inspiration and maybe some how-tos and tell you what I've been working on in my studio and we'll craft and chat a little bit. Um, but as far as like a plan, I don't have one. Um, I'm not going to schedule things or say that I'm going to get something done because just like resolutions, I feel like um, we have all these great intentions, but the reality is, is that they don't always happen. And for me, that creates an overwhelming feeling of anxiety and a feeling of failure. And I'm not willing to do that to myself this year. So anyway, um, that's kind of just a little brief about what's going on. I'll keep you posted and I'll add more um, every time I come on to the video. But today I wanted to just get started on this new year and talk about kind of what my new year is and what my inspiration for the year is. And my inspiration this year is that life is a work of heart. And that's lowercase h e capital a-R-N-T. And so life is a work of heart. And I hope that you'll join me this year in making your own works of heart. And so um, what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to create a little bit of mixed media art. And so I have chosen a few things out here today that I'm going to work with. And I have simple um, watercolor paper. It was a 9 by 12 pad. I cut it in half and I'm going to basically create my own art journal this year um, out of out of these little works of heart. And so I have some watercolor paper. I have some um, just decoupage or tissue paper. I have a stencil set. It has um, the 23, 1, 2, 3, 4 in there, but I'm going to use the 2, 3 out of this. I have music paper because music is a part of my life. It, it's what keeps me going most of the time. And so I've got a little piece of uh, music paper. I flipped through a paper pad and... I found a few sheets of um, paper that kind of spoke to me and one that kind of put it all together. I have a little dish here with some um, gesso in there. I've got a little modeling paste if I decide to use my stencils as um, a raised element. I'm going to be using clear gesso for most all of my medium. I have my glue stick. I've got a few different washies in case I want to do that. And basically, I'm just going to create today's work of heart. So Wednesday to me is Wednesday works of heart. So I hope you will sit down and craft with me. I don't care if you're a, if you quilt or if you sew or um, whatever. Get out a few things and... Um, Let's make a work of heart today. Let's make a work of heart today. So anyway, basically, I am simply just, I'm, I, I'm not an artist, guys. I just, I'm a creative. I don't know what I am. I'm basically just going to go ahead and um, 
cover my paper with some acrylic gesso here, or I'm sorry, with clear gesso. Um, and basically this is going to act as one, my glue for all of my pages as I put them on here. And two, it's also going to allow um, a good sticky tacky surface for any elements that I add to this page. So I'm going to start there and then I want this music sheet and I have no idea why but the fleecy clouds up here just really came to me this morning when I was looking at some of my stuff and so I'm going to have the fleecy clouds here up at the top and then I'm going to I'm going to put some gesso over here some clear gesso in my little thing and guys I don't there's no rhyme or reason nothing for what I'm doing here I'm just I'm just creating what comes to me um so anyway so um tell me about New Year's do you do you do um do you do resolutions? Is it something that you do for yourself? Um, and if so, what are some of your resolutions for the year? What what are you what are you thinking? Um, what are your goals in life? What's what's happening? Please share with me because honestly, I'm a great I'm a great cheerleader. I'm not I'm not good at a whole lot of great things, but I am an amazing cheerleader. And so, if you need a cheerleader in your world, I'm the girl. I am the girl to be your cheerleader. So um, share with me. Share with me. Let me help hold you accountable to some of your goals if you're one of those people um, who creates goals. Um, and then, um, you know, do you journal? Um, one of the things that we're going to do here on the Blushing Mint and when I go do some of my lives is... We are going to um, talk about journaling and using those journals. I mean, I create journals. I, I have my own journals. Um, do I use them? Mm, no. No, I don't because um, I get into my own head too much. And I find that um, I think I have to be perfect in order to do a journal, in order to journal, and um, it's a problem for me. It's a big, huge, fat problem. Um, and so I tend not to use my journals, and um, that's not really good, because why make them if I'm not going to use them, right? Um, and how, how dare me tell you to use your journal when I can't even use my own? So um, one of the things that I'm going to work on this year is and, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not making promises. These are just things, these are intentions. Intentions that I hope that I can follow through with. Um, I, I want to journal. I have, I, I think journaling is helpful. And when I have written in them, um, I, I find peace, so to speak, maybe, with, the journaling um and so i feel like i should i should do more of it and so i hope that um through this being a little bit more present in my studio and um having you guys hanging out with me chatting with me and um you know, inspiring me as much, um, maybe I will use my journals more and I will be more purposeful in some of the things that I do. So um, I hope, I hope that you guys will hang out with me and um, share some of these things in this time and together maybe we'll just, maybe we'll, maybe we'll actually be a little bit more productive and more um, accountable to ourselves. It's always easier to be accountable when you have people hanging out being accountable with you. I think that's always a, I think that's always a, a good thing is, you know, we, 
often work better with a team. And um, I want this blushing mint to be a place where you are comfortable and you want to come and you want to hang out with me and just see what I've got going on for the day. Um, and so I hope I hope that you'll I hope that you'll continue to stop in when I've when I've posted and um, and when I ask questions that you'll get involved and you'll share and um, we can truly get to know each other and um, whatnot through this page. So anyway, I'm just like I said, I'm not I have no rhyme or reason. I'm just creating what is speaking to me in the moment. Um, I want to cover this page. I have I have kind of an idea for what I want this to be. Um, and but I really don't have I don't have a plan. I know what I know what I want it to what I want it to kind of be at the end, but we'll see how it comes together because I'm not a I'm not a uh, like I said, I'm not an artist. I just have these thoughts and ideas and um, I'm hoping that I can make something that inspires me and inspires somebody else along the way. So, uh, but yeah, so as far as resolutions, I'm just, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not making any. Um, I, I have some intentions that I want to be a little bit more um, conscious of. Um, like, you know, so often we worry about things that literally we have absolutely no control over. Like, whether it's for ourselves or worrying about something with somebody else or, or whatnot. And um, as somebody who is a cheerleader and as somebody who does, um, with anxiety, I find myself sometimes overwhelmed with other people's issues and then maybe I'm not paying as much attention to my own issues or it's an escape from my own issues. I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, I'm not a psychologist either, even though that was what I wanted to do when I when I grew up. I wanted to I wanted to be a psychologist, but guess what? <laughs> yeah, not happening. Anyway, um so um but I want to I want to worry less about the things that I don't have any control over. And it doesn't mean that I'm not going to care. I, I think there's a very distinct difference between caring about something and not worrying about it. Um, but all too often I, I find myself overwhelmed with other people's, with just flat and random things I can't control. Things I literally can't control. So this year I want to work very hard about intentionally not worrying about things that I have no control over and um, letting those things, just letting those things ride. If they're, if it's not mine to deal with, then I don't, I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to worry myself. I don't want to, to create, <coughs> excuse me, um, unnecessary stress on myself. Um, worrying about things that I can't control. So that's one of my biggest intentions for the year um, is just letting go, letting go of, of that. And I think to, for me, that's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge thing, but it's also going to be very hard. Um, it's going to be very, 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 very hard for me, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So that's one of my 2023 intentions, so to speak. Um, and as far as this channel, um, I, 
I have a million and one ideas and a million and one thoughts of what I want to do on this channel. Um, but quite frankly, um, I, I don't feel like I can, um, perfectly say, okay, well, we're going to do this today and I promise I'll be here tomorrow to do this. Um, because the reality is, is my life just doesn't work that way. Um, and I don't, like I said, I don't want to set myself up for failure. Um, I just, I refuse to do that to myself this year. I refuse to just say, yep, I can do it. Yep, I'll do it. Nope, I'll be there. Yep, I can't. I just, I can't. Um, I just can't. And so, um, I, um... I'm not going to say we're going to do one thing one day and then I'm not there and everybody's like, well, I thought we were doing this. So um, when we can, we're going to get together and we're going to craft and um, I'm going to show you the things that I've got going on in the shop. I've got new journals that I'm working on. I'm working on like um, if you're a uh, creative and you, but yet you don't really know where to start sometimes. Um, I'm going to be doing some create your own journal kits. I'll give you all the basics and the supplies. And um, basically you can create your own journal from one of my kits. I'm going to have some of those things in the shop to share. Um, I'm going to have some ephemera. I'm going to have... Um, just some different things that I'm that I'm working on that I I hope you guys will hang around and um, check out in my shop when I get there and um, and whatnot. So those are just a few of the things that I know that I've got on the back burner um, for the year and. Um, Sorry, thinking. Sometimes I can't talk and think and craft at the same time. It's a, you know, sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing. Um, so, oh, love it. Okay, I think maybe if you're paying attention, you might see where I'm going with this. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm kind of random, guys. Sorry. I'm a super, I'm just a super random person. Um, but to me, this is, this is what this year is all about. Just sitting here and crafting and making, um, making things that make me happy. Making things that make me happy. So, oh, yeah, this is, this is where I was going. I didn't know what I was doing or where I was going, but I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So, um, what did I do with my stencil? Do, do, do. Yes. So, um, also, um, if you are a neat crafter, um, or if neatness is, like, uppermost in your world, uh, you're not going to like crafting with me, because I am not a neat crafter, and, um, you know, I have a lot of people who, um, want me to be neat, <laughs> want my spaces to be neat um and and i know it probably it it makes sense for those people who function that way um that's not me okay just gonna just be real and honest it's not me um i get out here in my little space and um I don't care how messy it is or um, what's on my desk. I get out here and this is, this is my space. This is where I create. This is my creative space. And I can't 
think of anything but creating when I get out here. I don't want to clean. I, I, I just don't care. I just literally move the pile and I start creating. And so, um, that is, that is hard for some people to understand. And so if you're one of those people who finds that hard to deal with, um, sorry, <laughs> don't know what to say <laughs> other than sorry. Uh, you'll go crazy watching me because that's just not how I, that's just not how I, I, I do it. So if my piles and my mess scare you, um, try to, try to be kind and look away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say about it. Cause like, uh, so yeah, so see, I, I messed up and I put that stencil on, um, the wet medium and you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Cause this is, this is about art. It's not about, um, anything else. This is, this is just about art. Um, creating art. So, um, you can you kind of see where I'm going? Life is a work of heart. And so, um, now I have to think a little bit about how I'm gonna get that wording onto here. And so, I... I don't know. I just don't know. But let's see. I have these distressed crayons. I have never played with them, so bear with me while I see what this look looks like. Um I don't know, friends. I don't know. This could this could make or break it. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because why not? Sorry, quiet, because I'm thinking. Don't want to spell anything wrong. You know, because these are hard words for me. black black oh you know what I wonder if I have the word heart in something I bet I do bear with me um because I could like I got these warm I got these little dictionary tabs. Okay. F. I have these little dictionary tags here. Heart. Let's see. G. E. K. 
take. Well, my heart wasn't in there. Heart wasn't in there. Do, 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 do. So, I wonder, I wonder, wonder, wonder. I bet I have so many random things in my craft room here to play with. And I hope that, um, like me, you have all those things that you don't have to buy anything. There's always, there's just always things that we can work with within our, our houses and our spaces. And if you're a seamstress or a quilter, you know, you got material everywhere. You don't have to go buy something new to create something, um, to create something today. Just pick up some scraps, pick up some scraps and do some work and just, just make something, just get out and create. Um, get out some things and start creating. I don't know if you can see that, if the glare is on that, but life is a work of heart. Now, this is, this is probably not complete. Um, I'll continue to probably work on this a little bit and um, fine tune it off camera and whatnot. And I will show it to you because this is basically going to be the cover of my art journal for 2023. And so I just wanted to pop on here and um, share with you um, as I launch the social media and YouTube part of my of my blushing mint business and I wanted to let you know that I'm here and hopefully you will like subscribe share on any of my social media channels um, so that we can get some other people here talking working and crafting with us as we get together um, and when we get together so get out your craft stuff get out your journal Get out whatever it is that you're creative that speaks to your creative spirit and make yourself a work of heart. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to have new materials or, or anything like that. Just create something that speaks to your heart and we'll meet back here next time. And I hope you will share those little works of heart that you created today based on, um, my suggestion and I can't wait to see you next time. So thank you for joining me. Um, like, share, subscribe, and I will visit with you next time for a little bit more craft and chatting. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.